Email marketing is by far the most cost-effective, most reliable, and most profitable sales channel for the majority of businesses. But there are still a lot of businesses that are actively doing email marketing and not getting great results, but they're also not sure why. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the five reasons that I most often see businesses doing, um, or maybe they're just not even aware of this thing, that's causing them to not get results with their email marketing. So the first thing that businesses get wrong is spamming their list. So this could mean that you're either sending really low quality emails, you're emailing everyone on your list every time you send an email, you're emailing your list way too often. So maybe you're emailing them you know, every single day when you really should only be emailing twice a week, or this is going to depend on your list and how engaged they are and how big the list is. Um, but even emailing a list three times a week for one business could be way too much and for another business could be not enough. So, um, and then finally also only sending promotional emails that use a discount to drive sales. So again, if you're, if you're sending too often, sending to too many people and you're sending low quality content and you're only sending sales types of emails, then it feels like spam and you're not going to get people, not only are they not going to want to purchase, but they're not going to even want to open your emails, they're going, they're going to either unsubscribe and click spam, or they're going to do what I call the invisible unsubscribe, which is where they just start ignoring your emails because they've just decided they no longer want to, you know, to pay attention to them. But a lot of times people will stick around on your list and not unsubscribe, but they, even if they do open, they only opened it just so they could hit archive or so they could hit delete, and they're not actually engaging with your emails. And the problem with this is that that lowered engagement will cause the email inboxes to they'll get that signal that oh people don't want these emails so they'll start sending your emails to the promotions tab and they'll start sending them to spam more often because of the feedback they're getting from their users so this is a the type of thing where it starts as a small problem and grows into a huge problem and if you're not paying attention to it and you don't get ahead of it it can get to where you have a significant setback in your email marketing and the progress you make with your list another reason that email marketing doesn't work is you have a really low quality list so maybe you um, bought a list from a different business or from one of these random services that sells email lists um, or you know basically you didn't you have a list of people who didn't choose to opt in to your list for your business knowing that they were doing that um, or maybe you built your list by you know running a bunch of ads for some sort of free giveaway or you've just participated in a bunch of free giveaways um, and grown your list where the majority of people on that list were just freebie seekers and they weren't people who were marketed to as a potential customer where you were trying to get someone to show up and buy. And again, the, the reason this can be a problem for you is if you have too many people like that on your list is that a lot of those people only signed up for something free and they didn't sign up because they were interested, interested in your actual products or your brand. So this is where a list, a, a much smaller list can generate 10 times as much revenue as a much bigger list where whenever the quality of the people on the list isn't very good. So again, this is, it's, as you're building your list, it's not just quantity, but you also want to pay attention to quality. The third reason why your email marketing might not be working is that your offer itself isn't working. So maybe there's just a low demand for the product or the products that you're selling, or maybe you haven't differentiated them in any way that's compelling to people where they feel, that, you know, where they're even interested to buy from you over some other business in your same space. Or maybe it's the copy and the branding on your website is either turning people off or just, just doesn't convert. Um, maybe you're having issues with your website with um, page load times. You know, anything like this where it's either the offer itself or how the offer is being presented, if there's just no interest, there's, it doesn't matter if you do email marketing, if you do social media marketing, you know, whatever you do, you can't get people to buy something if they either don't, if you haven't at least given them some reason to be interested or if you've done something something to harm their trust. So if your site looks really spammy, people are not going to want to put their credit card information in and make a purchase because they're just not going to trust doing business with your website. Okay, now the fourth reason that email marketing doesn't work most often is that you don't have opportunities for repeat customers. So a lot of times businesses will, let's just say you have a business that only sells one product and it's not the type of, and let's just 
say it's a product where if someone buys it one time, they don't really have a need to buy from you again. The challenge that you have when it comes to email marketing is that once you've converted the people on your list into that first purchase, it's very difficult to get repeat purchases unless it's something where even after they've bought the thing and they may not need it again, they could at least buy it as a gift for someone else um, or at least maybe you know recommend it to someone else for, for whatever reason. But this is where for a lot of businesses, you know, this is where it's time to look at how can you create some other offers in addition to the one product. So sometimes this happens with businesses that only have one product. And I also see this happen with businesses where let's say they've got maybe like five, five, 10 products or whatever, but then they have some kind of really great value bundle that bundles everything in their store. And let's say, you know, again, I see this a lot where like 80% of their customers buy the bundle as opposed to buying the individual products. And again, for those people, there's no reason to buy once they've bought the bundle there's no reason for them to buy again because not only have, do they already own everything that you sell but they bought it at such a better deal than buying the things the one-off things individually that they're not really incentivized to go back and then buy more of those individual things so this is something again where you know maybe your business maybe you only have one product right now um, it doesn't mean you should just give up on your email marketing but you need to consider okay how else can we create new offers um, can we create create maybe different offers that aren't another physical product, but maybe it's something that's complementary to what they already have. Or if that's actually, I should say, and, or either one, if that's not an opportunity, um, or if that's just doesn't make sense for your business in any time in the near future, then you should focus your email marketing efforts on having a great rewards program and a great referral program and trying to get the people on your list to spread the word about your business and about your products to other people. And then of course, continuing to maintain engagement with those people and keep them interested so that way whenever you do have something new to offer them that they're interested in buying from you okay now the fifth most common reason that email marketing doesn't work for a business is that your emails just suck so maybe they look terrible maybe the messaging is completely off <clears throat> a lot of times when businesses haven't taken haven't dedicated a little bit of time up front to coming up with a brand story and really understanding their customers and and thinking through the positioning of their their products or the positioning of their brand in the market versus the competition, then it's hard to craft content that resonates with people if you don't understand what drives their buying decisions. And it's hard to make emails that are going to drive a lot of sales. You might be able to get opens because that's easy to do with, you know, just by using compelling subject lines. But can you get people to click and then buy? So part of it is if you maybe you just haven't taken the time to have a good strategy in place for your content in the first place. And I would definitely say that the the message of your email takes priority over everything else or maybe the design is just really terrible um, I have a video up on the YouTube channel comparing plain text emails versus HTML designed emails and one of the takeaways from that is that depending on your industry you might choose to go for one versus the other but one caveat is that if a design sucks then just don't even do a designed email just stick with a text-based email if you can't put together if you don't have the resources or something someone on your team who can do it or whatever to get an email that looks nice then a poor design is actually just going to turn people off and it's going to do more harm than good whereas a well-written text only email can work in any industry in any field at any time because it really is more about the message and the design should only be there to enhance the message of the email so again just to summarize these are if for some reason email marketing isn't working for your business it's probably one of these things either you're spamming your list you've got a low quality list in the first place there's something wrong with your offer or something wrong with how it's being presented on your website or your website itself um, you aren't providing opportunities for repeat customers so that way you, you just have a list of people who show up and buy one time so it's difficult for you to continue to grow this sales channel to higher and higher numbers you know high, higher amounts of revenue generated on a monthly basis or finally it just comes down to doing good email marketing and your emails suck so whatever the case 
cases, I've got videos on my channel to help with all of this. And then of course, uh, my company, we also do managed email marketing and we also do consulting on email marketing. So, you know, whatever level of resources you have available um, and, you know, whatever your needs are, whether it's to help out your in-house team or if you'd like to outsource everything, then we would be glad to help. So be sure to use the link below to get in touch with us. And if you're just trying to get started with, you know, with just improving email marketing with what you're doing yourself, then again, be sure to check out the videos on my channel. Also download the checklist that's linked below at winbeforeyousend.com and that will help you plan and then create the campaigns that will help you be successful, not only just making sure that everything is set up correctly and you're avoiding any you know common errors, but also making sure that you're sending emails that people are more likely to engage with and more likely to make a purchase from. So that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.